Hi there Aquarius, I'm Eddie Rose with PsychicFuture.com and this is your horoscope from the 25th of June to the 1st of July. So this week we've got a lot of stuff going on in the planets and it might be a little bit up and down but it's actually going to be a very beneficial time. So first up we've got Mars retrograde. So before you start to panic, retrograde is not necessarily a bad thing. It can be a very helpful thing actually in working out where our energy is going and why our motivation is not quite working for us. So for you, have you had some amazing ideas, you probably have, um, that perhaps haven't actually got into motion and perhaps you haven't had the time or the resources or the help or the energy to start putting those ideas into motion. And it can be something as small as I want to, um, you know, redecorate my kitchen or I want to um, write a short story or I want to, you know, do this a little bit better or do that a little bit different. Like whatever it is that um, you've been thinking about, now is the time to actually figure out why you haven't yet put that into motion. So if you maybe just jot a few things down about like um, ask yourself these questions like what is it that I want to bring out into the material world from my head um, and why haven't I done it yet? So this might be things like I was saying like time, resources, um, confidence, anything like this um, and then ask yourself the question what can I do differently so that I can actually get that out into the world. And these are all things that are gonna be charged by Mars, Mars retrograde. So you might have some amazing breakthroughs where you think, oh my God, I thought I didn't have time, but actually if I um, don't watch TV on a Thursday, then I've got three hours to work on this project. Like the, these are just all about shifting your mindset and seeing where your energy is going. So is your energy going too much on trying to perfect things that don't need perfecting or is your energy going on um, escaping from the real world in things like TV and um, computer and like anything like this? Like where is your energy going? And how can you readjust it so that you can start getting your goals moving a little bit better on whatever that might be? So then we've also got full moon in Capricorn this week and this is actually a perfect combination. So what you can do is once you've unearthed all of these um, beliefs that you have about yourself and your lack of time or your lack of confidence or your lack of energy, um, then it's really good with the full moon to be able to release them and to say, I don't want to feel that anymore so I'm going to use the power of the full moon to let it go. Because the full moon is all about endings. So what it is is it marks the end of a period of like two to four weeks and then it's marking the beginning again so you have this choice now to leave something behind that isn't serving you so whether that is feeling like you don't have enough time feeling like you don't have enough confidence or whatever it is that's been holding you back now this week now is the time to say I'm putting an end to this and I'm starting on a new chapter and I'm going to do all of these things differently or just one thing if it's easier you know like if you take on too much then it can become overwhelming so just maybe just focus on one thing and say okay this is where my energy is going on that and this is what I want to do differently from now on and actually just even saying that out loud will start to bring in easier ways for you and it will start to like shape you a little bit differently and like tweak your mindset in a way that will bring in much more abundance for you so have a wonderful week Aquarius and if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe see you next time